Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am discussing about frequency division, multiplexing, and demultiplexing. So, in this experiment, our main objective is to study about frequency division, multiplexing, and demultiplexing of sinusoidal input. To perform this experiment, we need Scientech kit and DSO digital storage oscilloscope to see the output of different signal and uh, measure the frequency as well and connecting wire to connect the circuit connection in frequency division multiplexing you know two or more signal can be combined and it transmitted through over a common channel actually in multiplexing different signal are uh, transmitted over a common channel so it means what here we just multiplex two or more signal and passes through a common channel at the receiver end we need to demultiplex to uh, extract or get the desired signal whatever we send from the input side so using demultiplexing we just uh, got the desired signal at the output side this is the circuit uh, diagram for frequency division multiplexing and demultiplexing here two modulating signal we send or is first set you see one signal modulating signal one and another signal is modulating signal two so first we will set the frequency or amplitude whatever we need then it passes through DSB modulator in DSB modulator we use one carrier signal also here you see carrier signal is there so we just apply both the modulator signal and carrier in the DSB from both the side in modulator signal two the same thing is done after that one adder is there to add the signal both the modulator signal and passes over this channel okay at the output of adder we use dsb sc demodulator to demodulate the uh, signal whatever we send from the input side so here two uh, demodulator we use one demodulator is there and another one is there and then low pass filter we use to smooth then or remove the noise whatever uh, it's in the signal having in the demodulator output side so here two low pass filter use at the two demodulator side and finally we got the output whatever we send at the input so in the, this is the circuit diagram for frequency division multiplexing and demultiplexing here we just uh, calculate the input suppose whatever the input we send from the modulating signal uh, in the circuit I will show modulating signal 1 you just uh, note the value of the modulating signal Vm1 and Vm2 of the modulating signal 2, uh, 2 and then note the carrier frequency we use uh, two different carrier frequency so here we note the carrier frequency of the two signal and then here we draw the output you draw the output waveform of the adder and then draw the output waveform of LPF one means low fast filter one and another one is your low fast filter two so this is your calculation table so now I will show you how to perform this experiment in the kit first you see this is your frequency division multiplexer and demultiplexer kit where we just perform the experiment okay so you see here one modulating signal generator block is there where only frequency adjustment is given and another modulating frequency generator here so first we just measure the signal amplitude and see the changes this 
so one test panel is given here you just connect the DSO Pro over there and you see in the DSO uh, one signal is detected this is your modulated signal channel 1 ok now you see I vary the frequency you see its frequency will changes now measure okay from here you just measure the uh, voltage b peak peak to peak is your amplitude and uh, you see here frequency is your almost 8 okay 7.942 to 8.06 so i just changes the frequency you see frequency is varying <coughs> so we first fix the frequency of these uh, two signal modulated signal channel 1 and channel 2 frequency as well as uh, your amplitude from here we just note the frequency and amplitude of the two of first modulated signal and then here I just connect in this okay one test actual test funnel is this one you see here channel 2 output okay so here you see the amplitude b max b min bpp and corresponding frequency i just vary the frequency and you see the changes okay here your frequency is at 5.7 kilo 75 kilohertz okay so from here one modulus signal is generated after that you see we just connect one connection is given we just connect like this and this uh, modulus signal output goes to your dsb sc modulator channel and we here use one carrier generator which is 100 kilohertz we apply in this modulator and same this modulated signal channel to output goes to you another dsb sc modulator and here carrier is your 200 kilohertz so just apply this and this is your output of dsb apply to adder in multiplexer you know uh, number of signal or two or more channel pass through a common channel so that's why we add over there in the output of the adder now we we'll see the output of the adder okay first we just measure the carrier actually carrier is already being given here you see 200 kilohertz so so can your carrier you see carrier frequency is your 200 kilohertz for this uh, modulator uh, dsb ac modulator section and carrier frequency for this section is your 100 kilohertz and next you just draw the output of adder you see this is the output of adder this is the output of header you need to draw this thing ok so simply you just draw this output of header ok output of header means where we just add or add two or more signal and passes through a common channel ok now these two header output we apply dsb sc demodulator here now we need to demodulate or demultiplex this uh, adder output to got the original output or desired output or input whatever we send from the input side or modulated signal so you see 
one demur DSBS C demur letters is given here, and another DSBS C demur letter also there. So same carrier uh, is applied 200 kilowatts for this section and 100 kilowatts for this section. After that, this output is your connected or passes through a low pass filter to remove the noise. Okay, so here we just connect this DSO probe over here and one more DSO probe over here. Okay, you see, uh, this is the channel, uh, your yellow one is your channel 2, channel 2 output, modeled signal 2 output and green one is your channel 1, modeled signal output. Okay, so here you see whatever we send from the input side, we just got at the output. Okay. So here we just measure the signal ok you see uh, yellow one is your uh, yellow one is your output channel yellow one is your output and green one is your input so from here we just measure the voltage as well as frequency of this signal modulated signal channel 2 ok so you see this is your uh, input signal of modulated signal 2 and this is your output of modulated signal channel 2 same we just measure the input output of channel 1 ok this one is your modulated signal uh, channel 1 output your L1 is your output of modulated signal channel 1 and green one is your modulated signal channel 1 input so from here you just note all the things frequency as well as amplitude ok so in this way we just uh, do the multiplexing and demultiplexing process and see the desired output of the signal whatever we send from the input ok thank you